Well, hey everyone. I wanted to tell you the story behind this particular photograph of mine, which is one of my favorites and also one of my best-selling images. This photograph is called Reflecting on Red Mountain Blues, which is kind of a play on words because that particular mountain is called Red Mountain and it's reflected here in this blue lake. Uh, the story behind this goes is that uh, I was meeting up with my friends uh, Kane Engelbert and Shane McDermott uh, at this high mountain uh, campsite in July here in the San Juan Mountains near Silverton, Colorado. And I arrived at this particular location before they did based on some very sketchy instructions that I got from my friend Kane. Uh, he sent me some coordinates and a Google Earth a screenshot of where they are camped and I was lucky to be able to find the particular spot because there's a lot of really sketchy four-wheel drive roads that you have to drive up, a lot of turns you have to make, but I was able to find it. Uh, when I got there, it started raining and it rained and rained and rained pretty much straight for about eight hours. Uh, my friends Kane and Shane showed up later that evening and we enjoyed a couple of beers around our trucks, uh, but we weren't really able to do much else other than that. However, we woke up the next morning and most of the clouds had cleared out. There wasn't a lot of really good sunrise light in terms of, you know, crazy epic glowing clouds. However, I really enjoyed wandering around this particular area, uh, around this lake, uh, this high mountain tarn. And I was just really struck by the plants uh, growing up through the water and the juxtaposition between the elements of the scene, including uh, the mountain and the trees and the mountains in the distance and how the reflection was broken up uh, by, the, by the foliage growing up through the water. And I just really enjoyed shooting it. Well, I hope you enjoy that story.